45 off of Charlie Papa Channel. Our 1906 Winchester pump project is just about done. Uh, we have got it pretty much put together. We've got our magazine tube on, both inner and outer. And uh, our, uh, we've soldered the front hanger for our uh, magazine tube in. It's just a matter of reassembling now. Uh, except that the next step would be to put the pump handle on. To do that we have to finish the wood first. So we're at a point we need to finish the wood. One of the first thing that, things we want to decide is what we're going to do about a butt plate. I have the original butt plate. I'd like to put that on. But the first thing we find is the original butt plate is way smaller than our stock. So if we're going to use that, we're going to have to take the stock down. And that would be our next step, is to mount the, the uh, original butt plate and then get, take the stock down to match its dimensions. So we'll do that and then we will look at putting it together and see what we've got. In order to mount this, I think what we're going to do is we're going to glue it on first, then we'll put screws in it, and then we'll just bring the stock down to its dimensions. Now the first thing I've done is I'm gluing the butt plate onto the butt of the uh, stock because I want, to, I want it placed exactly where I want it. And by gluing it first and then putting the screws in, they won't walk. It'll end up right where I want it. So first we're going to do that, then we're going to take the fore end, and we're going to sand it. I'm going to use a backer, so I don't break the edges. And since it's, it's already nicely done, I'm just going to go over it with some 220 grit paper. And since it doesn't meet, meet mate up to anything else. I'm really not concerned about its thickness. It'll be just fine. So we're making it nice and smooth. I'm going to sand it to 220. That'll give us a, a nice finish. As soon as this is dry, we'll go and we'll put screws in it. So I'll make sure we hold it. And then we'll take uh, take after that with some more aggressive uh, techniques. Okay, we'll be back as soon as we're ready to proceed with that uh, butt plate. Okay, now that our glue is set up, we can take our drill. And using the holes in our butt plate, use that to guide them. And now we'll simply take a screwdriver and put them in. And now we'll reduce the wood down to the size of the butt plate. Start with some <laughs> relatively coarse paper because we've got a lot of wood to remove. straight so that we move the wood from the entire width here not just right here at the butt because that would leave us with a paper that would show when it was finished so we're going to 
reduce the entire length of the stock from about the uh, well, from about the comb on back. This here's the old singing gunsmith with you once again, working on our 1906 Winchester Pump 22 uh, project, and I went out and I bought a new stock set for it, because if you remember, the old one was broken at the wrist, and pieces were actually missing, I just didn't feel that it was salvageable, so I'm sanding it down to the line of the old butt plate. I had the original butt plate, and rather than replace it, I put the butt plate on, and I've wrapped it with masking tape. This happens to be the blue painter's tape, but regular masking tape will do. If you happen to have that around. And what I'm doing is I'm sanding the, the stock down until I start abrading the masking tape. And we're starting to do that now. And I'll take it out of the vise here in a second and show it to you. I've got a couple of places I still want to get a little bit closer. Down here by the toe. For one and up here by the comb for another. But what will happen as you sand it down is you will start to abrade the tape. Well that tells you that you're there. You've got that pretty much as close as you're going to get it. Now the comb here still is, is still proud as you can see. This side is almost there. We're going to do a little bit more sanding on that. It's up here, we've already met it. So we need to concentrate our sanding at the lower end. And you can go finer to 220 or 320 or 400 or however fine you want to sand the stock. But you might start, if it's a huge difference, you might start with a file or rasp and rasp down the uh, stock, but you have to leave enough meat to where you can sand all of your rasp marks out. Otherwise, as soon as you, uh, as soon as you try and finish it, those rasp marks are going to jump out. They're going to take the uh, stain. They're going to take the finish. And they're going to absolutely stand out like sore thumbs. And I think I've about used that one up. Or at least I've clogged it up to the point that it's not cutting much anymore. Let's try changing it around here. Now, what you finish the stock with is up to you. As far as stains. There's all kinds of great stains out there. In this particular case, I've made my own. We have walnut trees around, and I will collect walnut hulls and put them in a blender <laughs> and with water and blend them. It's usually best to wait until they're soft and mushy, but once they're soft and mushy, you can put them in a blender. You can blend them up with water, and you can make yourself a lifetime supply of water-based stain for nothing. Or you can buy it. There's all kinds of great stains out there. I happen to like some of them that are ridiculously expensive. But uh, anyway, you pick your stain and stain your stock. Finish your stock. Uh, I know a lot of you guys use True Oil. Great product. I have no complaint about it. Except that personally, I like to feel like my stain or finish is in the stock rather than on the stock. And so I like to use the tongue oils. And yes, it does. Uh, True Oil does have tongue oil in it, but it's also got varnishes that finishes more like a varnish than a uh, oh, penetrating finish uh, like linseed oil does. So, my favorite finish, just for, all, for what it's worth, is available from Brownells. It's uh, Gunsaver CP Hand Rubbing Gunstock Finish. That's clear gloss. 
that's my favorite, but you can have a favorite of your own. I just like the way it looks when it's done. Does this sound like an advertisement? It's not supposed to be. It's just uh, telling you what I'm using in case you care. And yes, this just, this is really a matter of taking the time. And like so much of, of gunsmithing, the, uh, you have to have some patience to get where you want to be. Uh, the more patience you have, the better the job turns out. The less patience you have, the more it turns out like my stuff. I mean, uh, uh, it turns out differently. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who's uh, got the patience of a rock. He will, he will work on this stuff until it is absolute 100% perfection, and he's got the talent to do it. I wish I did. Uh, I don't have that kind of patience. My patience is more like, oh, maybe a four-year-old. I want it now. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're getting there little by little, bit by bit. This is still quite a ways to go. I'm going to take my rasp out. I'm going to rasp very lightly. I'm going to try and remove some wood here without going too far to get it closer to being finished. I told you I don't have the patience of Job or your ever, whoever your other favorite biblical patient character is. And Job is the only one I know. Okay, so we removed some excess wood there to get us closer to the finish so you don't have to sit here for the next two days watching me sand the stuff. And uh, let's see, uh, this particular stock came from Wood Plus through Brownells. Uh, and it fits very, very nicely. I'm, I'm very, very pleased. If you can see that, how well it fits. This I haven't done anything to the inletting. It's not absolutely perfect. But boy, it's closer than I could make it. So we've got our stock just about there. I just have this bit of the comb that's still too high. I want to work on a little bit. And I'll tell you what. I'll cut this off. I'll work on it. I'll come back once... Uh, uh, it's done and we can move on from there Okay, we'll see you later Thanks for watching please subscribe